Hey guys, welcome to another video. This week I am doing my Helena Cell 2021 predictions. Um, I'm trying to speak kind of quiet because everyone's in bed now and I don't want to wake them. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get into it right now. There's only like five matches announced. So I'm like 99% sure there's going to be a few more matches announced before the show. So if there is, you can find my predictions and also voice you guys' predictions on my Instagram and Twitter. My Instagram, I'm using my WWE Instagram fan page for that. It's Last Kicking Live and then my Twitter. I had to make a new one the other day because I couldn't, for some reason, log into my old one. Wasn't letting me. So, uh... Yeah, so my new Twitter account, you can voice your opinion on and find mine, my prediction on, is just my first name, Brianna, with three R's and an extra A at the end. So, B-R-R-R-I-A-N-N-A-A -N -N -A -A underscore. So, that's my new Twitter account. So, I'm just going to get into my predictions. Like I said, there's five matches announced so far, so I'm pretty sure there's going to be a few more matches announced before the show. So, like I said, if there are, you can find my prediction and also voice your predictions on my Instagram and Twitter. So, the first match you know so far is these I found on Wikipedia. They're not in order or anything. I just got them off Wikipedia. I doubt this is the order they're going to be in, but that's the order I found them on Wikipedia. So, anyway, the first match is Bobby Lashley versus Drew McIntyre in a Hell in a Cell match for... The WWE title. Um, this is also a, Lance, a last chance match for Drew. So, if Drew doesn't win on Sunday night, he won't get any more chances. Also, I'm filming this video on Wednesday when I normally would do it on Saturday. Um, because I'm going to my camper after college classes are over tomorrow. So, classes are over. Well, they're supposed to end at like 3.50pm, but... A lot of the time, our teachers or instructors, because I'm in college, let us go like an hour earlier or whatever. They'll just give us an assignment, do the assignment, and just let us go. And when we do our tests in college, if it's online, if we're online doing the test, they'll, like with one of our instructors, instructors, um, I have a test with him on Monday actually. Um, it's online, so what he does is. He'll let us do the test. He always waits until the last class that we have him. Because we only have him, like, every single day of the week except for Tuesdays. So, every time we have a test with him, he always waits until the end of the day to do it. So, we can do the test. And when we're done, we're done classes for the day. There's nothing else to do. So, that's what I like about it. Because if I finish, like, in five minutes, like... Like, I, last Monday, I, we had a test with him. Um, they, he started at 1 p.m. And I was done in, like, 20 minutes. And normally, we'd, he'd let us go at 3.50, which is when classes are supposed to end. So, I ended up having, like, an extra two and a half hours or so. Two and a, no, two hours and 40 minutes off of school. So, that's cool. So that's what I like about doing test online a lot of the time because, like, a lot, a couple of our instructors that we had in the past, like, they would let us do the test in the afternoon and let us go for the day, and that would be it for the day. So that's what I love about that specific instructor is that he lets us do the test at the end of the day and lets us go. I mean, I, I love all my instructors, but, like, that one instructor will, that just lets us do our tests and lets us go for the day right after we're done. Like, don't say anything. Don't say we handed it in or anything. Just do it. Finish it. Submit it. And then log off and you're done for the day. Like, that's literally what we do. So, yeah. Anyway, I was going to make this video on Saturday like I normally do before every pay-per-view. But, like I said, I'm going to my camper tomorrow after classes are over. So, they're supposed to end at 3.50, I think, tomorrow. Um, I do have a test tomorrow morning. It's not online or anything. It's actually at the college. Um, so I, I do have a test at 10, a, at 10 a.m. tomorrow morning that I have to go up to do. So after I finish that test, I have to come home and go to class with the rest of my classmates at 1 o'clock. So, and that's obviously with that one instructor. So, yeah, and then after those classes are over with him... 
my parents and I are going to go to where they work. And then when they're done working there, we'll just head on out to our camper for the weekend. So I am very excited. Um, we will be home, definitely we'll be home Sunday though. Because obviously I have classes on Monday. So we'll be home Sunday. So I am very excited to watch Helen Cell. Anyway, I'm rambling. This is like the longest intro I've done on this channel ever. So the first match is Bobby Lashley versus Drew McIntyre. Like I said, in Hell in a Cell match. Okay, all that. I've already said all that. So if Drew doesn't win, since this is a last chance match, if Drew doesn't win, he doesn't get any more chances at the title as long as Bobby's holding it. Holding it. So I think that's how it works. I think if you lose a last chance match, you don't get any other chances for that title if that specific person is holding it at the time. You know what I mean? So like, say... If Brock Lesnar was still in WWE and he was holding the WWE title and he fought Kofi Kingston in a last chance match and if Kofi lost, he couldn't have any other WWE title matches until Brock Lesnar loses it. Like that kind of thing. I think that's how it works in last chance matches. So anyway, sadly, I mean, I desperately want Drew to win. I'm getting all the stuff off my blog I just posted. Like I always do. Um... But I think Bobby Lashley is going to win because this is, like I said, a last chance match. So Drew's, sadly, Drew's not going to beat Bobby. Also, Bobby's the most dominant wrestler in WWE right now. So, like, no doubt he's going to win. So, the next match is Rhea Ripley versus Charlotte Flair for the Raw Women's title. I think Rhea Ripley is going to win because I think I made, like, I think I had this as an explanation for all of Charlotte Flair's title matches recently, but I mean, it's still how I feel. So, I think Rhea Ripley is going to win, because just before WrestleMania, WrestleMania in April, Charlotte Flair had a pregnancy scare, which was one of the reasons she got pulled from WrestleMania, I think. And I think the other reason was because she had COVID or was just recovering from it, because I do remember that she had COVID just before WrestleMania. So, she either still had COVID or she just recently tested negative and is still recovering from it, I guess. Um, and Charlotte Flair did mention that in, her, in an interview a couple of years ago, she mentioned that when she turns 35, she wanted to try for children with her fiancé, former superstar Andrade. I don't think they're married yet, so that's why I said fiancé. Because um, I know they're at least engaged. Because they got engaged like a year or two ago. I don't know. Anyway, so um, Charlotte just turned 35. On April 5th. So I think she... I don't think she's going to win the title anytime soon. Unless she ends up not having kids. Or after she has a child. If she has one. So I think Rhea's going to win. And the next match is Bianca Belair versus Bailey for the SmackDown Women's title. I think Bianca Belair is going to win. Because she just won the title in a very historic WrestleMania main event at night one. This is only her second defense, and I can see her having a pretty long title reign. And I do want it to happen, because I love the woman. The next match is another Hell in a Cell match. This one's for the Universal title between Roman Reigns and Rey Mysterio, two of my all-time favorites. Now, this might come off as a bit of a shock, but I think Rey Mysterio could win, because... I mean, I'm... Will it happen? I don't know. I'm, I do definitely doubt it, but I do think that... If Ray wins, this could possibly happen. So, I picked Ray because if Ray wins, this could kind of make Dominic kind of jealous, I guess, and slowly start to turn heel and eventually attack his father, maybe. Um, because, you know, Dominic wants the title, probably. So, this could, like, having Ray win the title from Roman Reigns while being tag team champions with his son could maybe set the tone for a Dominic versus Ray feud, father and son feud. And for maybe lead to Dominic versus Ray for the title at SummerSlam. Maybe. I don't know. That would be cool to see, honestly. So I'm gonna go Ray. I don't think it'll happen, but I just pictured like seeing Dominic versus Ray for the title at SummerSlam. So I said Ray. And the final match on the card at the moment, so far confirmed, is Alexa Bliss versus Shayna Baszler. Also, another match I'm excited for. I think I'm excited for, like, all the matches, I think. Especially this one. This one I'm 
probably most excited for. I don't think it'll be a very long match, but I'm super excited for it anyway. Um, Alexa Bliss versus Shayna Baszler. Everyone knows Alexa Bliss is probably going to win. She definitely has something up her sleeve. Like with all, literally all of her matches, she has some. She has something up her sleeve, especially with Lily now. She, yeah, she's going to do some crazy, creepy shit, and she's going to win. So. Yeah, so those are all my predictions, like I said. Um, there may be more matches announced, and if there are, you can find my predictions and also voice yours on my Instagram and Twitter. And, yeah, also, I, before I end this week's video, I do want to give a shout-out to my almost boyfriend, don't ask, um, Isaac. I uh, love you. And he also, I don't have it on me right now. It's in one of, I think it's somewhere on my bed in my room behind me or in a bag in my room or something. It's definitely in my room somewhere, so I'm gonna have to dig that out. I shouldn't. Okay, I wouldn't say dig that out because it's not that. It's not that far. It's like in like at the top of a bag in my room or something, or like on my bed. I don't know. Um. But he did give me a stuffed dog, and he's literally so cute. I'm literally obsessed. So, yeah. Um, I do have a note next to me. I'm not gonna read it, but he did write a note with it, and that I have right here. Well. Technically, yeah, a little bit of a note. Um, so that was really nice. Um, so thank you, love you, and uh, shout out to Isaac. And then, um, yeah, so that's we that English. That's it for this week's video. And yeah, so subscribe if you like to see more WWE content for me, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. And I will see you guys next week for. Probably, yeah, my Hell in a Cell results. I almost said NXT top 10 rea moments reaction. No. Next week is my Hell in a Cell results. So, yeah. Bye, guys.